Welcome back, my name is Last Snow Meal, and since I started doing cyberpunk videos back in 2016, the game itself changed a lot and grew in popularity a lot. And from time to time, I get a genuine question why is Cyberpunk 2077 so popular? Like, for real, the community is huge, and it seems that the game is everywhere. It was a highlight of E3 for a lot of people, including me. The anticipation and speculations are skyrocketing, and most of us built our channels on cyberpunk content. So we're going to go through a couple of notes I made on why this game is growing each day. First off, the game is created by CD Projekt Red, a company which for the past 10 years only made Witcher-related content. They are the reason why the popularity of the famous professional Geralt of Rivia spread like wildfire throughout the world. I mean, even Netflix is making a TV show based on the popularity of the games and then the books. The Witcher 3 was one of the best-made RPGs in a long time, and it's played even to this day. The game is still relevant because it has a lot of content and the bar they set in that game is really goddamn high so I am not surprised that more and more people are playing the game even though it came out 4 years ago. And they are more than able to pack hundreds of hours of content into a single $60 title which is insane for today's standards. Number two, they focus on building the community that will love their games, and they treat games like art, stating multiple times that they are not a game factory, and because of their amazing PR, the community respects them and loves them. Number three, they are really good at marketing games, and they are learning with each title they promote, even with a lack of updates for almost five years, People stuck with Cyberpunk just because it's created by a company which did The Witcher 3. All eyes were on their next project. I mean, if you look at The Witcher 3, that game had more than 100 awards. So of course, if you have anything which was rewarded for so much, everyone will keep an eye out on their next project, which in this case, their biggest one was Cyberpunk. When they released the first reveal trailer for the game, the internet exploded. Just because we had no clue on how the game is going to look like, we only knew it's going to be a huge open world, mature RPG. This mystery, in a sense, brought the community together to constantly talk about it, and they gained a lot of new fans that play the tabletop RPG. Now, the game is based on Cyberpunk 2020, created by Mike Pondsmith, which came out all the way back in 1988. And during all these years, the game had a very decent community of people playing it and getting immersed into that world. So you have to understand that there are a lot of people that were fans of the original and they went crazy when they heard that their favorite role-playing game is becoming a video game, and it's not created by any other studio, but rather CD Projekt Red, which is known to treat their games with respect, and they were actually the fans of the universe, uh, they, they played it before, so they have the knowledge of the lore, they want to create that game not because of money, but because they want to... Um, bring something new to the gaming industry and to basically take the world of Cyberpunk 2020 and make it into something completely new. Again, with the help of Mike Pondsmith, to, as I said, really replicate that feeling of Cyberpunk 2020 and everything that um, the fans of the original experience before, they're trying to do it 57 years into the future after the original. This also resulted in Artal Sorian, the company behind Cyberpunk 2020, getting more attention and releasing Cyberpunk Red, which bridges 2020 and 2077. Also, Cyberpunk as a subgenre has been popular since the 80s and the 90s. The books, the movies, the, the, the TV series, anime. It's already kinda implemented into the culture and a lot of people find it interesting, which gives you more popularity. So, technically, CD Projekt doesn't have to work that much on marketing, you know, Cyberpunk as they did with The Witcher, because The Witcher wasn't really known um, in the US, for example, but Cyberpunk is already here. So, only thing they have to do is introduce everyone who likes Cyberpunk with this version of Cyberpunk. So, 
the marketing is a bit different, but they already have a really good um, basis to grow their community. Also, the world we are living in today is becoming more and more like cyberpunk, so people can identify with it in some way and actually want to play the game. If anyone can identify with your product or your service, you are instantly going for success. That is something we were taught in our film school. When you market something, you have to make people identify with the project or anything else and you will have them as fans. It also has to do a lot with the industry. Today everything is about multiplayer, battle royale, microtransactions, and only a handful of studios are still creating those great single player games that have deep storytelling and a lot of content packed into a single title. It almost sets you apart from everyone, hence you get more attention and honestly, more and more people are talking about it, constant news articles are going out because right now it generates a lot of traffic, hence expanding the fire and introducing more and more people in it. Also we have to mention Keanu Reeves, the man, the myth, the legend. After a huge popularity in the mainstream media, just having him on board as one of the most iconic cyberpunk characters introduced this game with a huge audience. Even people who didn't know anything about the game will buy it or just see it because of Keanu. It was a very smart move. And even his casting to play Johnny Silverhand is not only because of popularity. The man was in Matrix, Johnny Mnemonic, so he's someone who knows the universe and the subgenre while also being a total badass. And memes. I mean, if anything brings attention to a wider audience today, those are memes. So when you take all of these things into account, it adds to a huge pile of fans waiting for April to finally play it. It also creates a problem for a CD Projekt because the hype is real, but also controlling it is the key, there isn't a perfect game. But when we see a good game made from the heart, we recognize it and praise it. And yes, it can have issues, we have to deal with that, because those issues will be fixed for as long as the core gameplay is good. So right now I can't wait for the final results and see what it brings. But hey, that is everything we have for today, don't forget to smash that like and subscribe button for more cyberpunk content and join our amazing community on Twitter and Discord, also tell me down below what you think about this. This is LKM signing out and stay breathtaking everyone, bye bye.